Hello and welcome to this special episode of Young Turks Mentor. I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the past 13 years, we've received several requests from budding and early stage entrepreneurs asking us to help them with the basics of starting up. So we decided to give our traditional tutorial series a twist with the Young Turks Mentor. We bring you India's best and the brightest entrepreneurial minds who've been there and done that to step into your shoes and go deep into your company. Taking the hot seat on the third Young Turks Mentor episode is the former CEO of HCL Technologies and the founder of the Sampark Foundation, Vineet Nair. <laughs> A passionate disruptive thinker, Vineet Nair's success has been fueled by his unconventional management philosophy of putting his employees first and customers second. Having served as the CEO of HCL Technologies from 2007 to January 2013, Nair during those years led a remarkable turnaround which saw the company's revenues and market cap grow six times from $0.7 billion in 2005 to $4.7 billion. Vineet currently serves as a senior advisor to the HCL Corporation and today he will play mentor to two early stage entrepreneurs. Eleven Estates aims to ease the process of house hunting for its users. Primarily targeting the renting market, the venture lets users search for property, assist them on site visits and negotiations. The venture now wants to pick the right path to scale up and manage costs. Personally, for me, uh, the motivation is not money because mm -hmm. money somehow I can make any, at any point of time in life. So, mm -hmm. the major thing is it's uh, I wanted to do something big. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's the vision. And really. is that a common vision between the three of you, or the two of them want to make money and you want to it big? Uh, one guy wants to make money and <laughs> one guy wants to get fame. So if, if we make it, so all three of us will achieve our goals. So we need the first question that I want to ask you is at an initial stage when we don't have the liberty of paying, you know, pretty high salaries and all, how do we retain good talent? Startup companies, which has 99% failure rates, are not going to be able to attract, you know, top talent unless they give top money and top money you can't give. So therefore, it is very important that when you construct your core team, it is not a team of identical skills. It is a team of parallel skills. And these parallel skills will be that one co-promoter is a marketing expert, one co-promoter is a guy who will take platform or you know, uh, lead on technology, another is who will take a decision or, or lead on finance and, and business marketing. You may add one or two more partners who are what I call risk talent, who will come and provide you the competitive advantage. So after getting an initial user base, how do we essentially uh, go ahead and go get to 1000 customers from 100 or 50 right now? Try and use the commerce engine right. to try and encourage people to list their properties in a very unique, cool way, not the boring way which you see the, in the advertisement with photographs and snapshots and a little bit of their history right. and this is where my grandmother lived or whatever it is, to make it fun make it exciting and make it attractive for them to come and list their property in a way which they can't list anywhere. And once they do that, then suddenly you will attract all the customers because customers will not come to you unless you have the inventory of property presented in a very unique fashion. So should we remove the site visits part? Because site visits is where we are burning a lot of cash right now. Mm -hmm. And if you need a service from us, which includes uh, scheduling your appointments, negotiations, analytics based suggestions, and uh, legal work, you sign up for an on-demand service, we charge you like 1000 bucks or 1500 bucks for 15 days. See, the reason 99% of startups fail is because they ask the wrong question. Mm. You are asking the wrong question. The right question to ask is, what is the core problem I'm trying to solve? And how am I solving that uniquely? So, for example, instead of site visit, what my suggestion was, that if you can have, let's say, 50 photographs of what am I going to buy in, and therefore without going into finding where the rental place is, I have 25 pro uh, photographs, I have the Google map for it, I can see the street, and your website can provide me that convenience without visiting, right. so it saves money for you and it saves convenience for me. Right. So be obsessed about asking the question, why am I doing it? And why am I doing it this way? And who's going to pay if I do it? Right. And why would you pay? So if you go structured in your thinking, nobody can structure. 
So Anurag, first is, uh, I think the very fact that you've started on a startup journey is going to be a tremendous experience for all of you. And it's going to be a learning you're never going to forget. If I were you, uh, I would not fall in love with my ideas. I will rationally look at them very closely. And the third is, I will be obsessed about creating a community in a very cool way. Then I will figure out a way of making revenue for myself. So that's, that would be the way I would think about it. Having started web designing at the age of 17, Karthik set up Bizarre Creations, a web design company to translate a user's design dreams into a website or even an Android and iOS app. The venture is now evaluating what business model to adopt and how to go about recruitments as a startup. First, this is, it's, it's very good that you're doing something yep. right on your own. Yep. It's very good that you've started at the age of 16, 17, which is not uh, in age many people wake up. Uh, it's very good that you've got nine, ten people working for you and with you, which is very rare. So I have all the admiration for that part of it, but what you need to think about is what are you doing? So is website development a unique problem? The answer is no. no. So you're not solving a unique problem. So you're solving an existing problem. So are you, the way you are developing website is unique? And is, does it lend to scalable? For example, you can automatically develop a website you know, enter a few things and the website automatically develops itself and therefore you can do it at one tenth the cost. Yeah. So the boring, dull, traditional, without innovation are, is meant for large company. Yeah. But for a small company to break into the big league, you have to do something different, which is not web services. So you can get into data analytics in retail or in healthcare, or you have to do something dramatically different to break into big league. So my suggestion is catch up with Catch up some cash with what you're doing, catch up some momentum, catch up some experience, and then have a breakaway idea to really set up the company you really want to set up. How do you, how do you manage young people to, to stay with you all the time? Because I think managing employees is a really big task. It's not, <laughs> it's not the easiest of them all. That's what my experience is. I think doing a tech work is much easier, much easier <laughs> job, but managing people is not. So as a young entrepreneur, if you ask them, what do you want to do? And how can I help you get to the place you want to go? So I want to become rich, okay, I'll help you do that. I want to write cool software which, and I want complete independence, okay, I'll help you do that. So a startup is a group of people who are doing stuff which they want to do, okay. not doing stuff which the promoter wants to do. That is for the large companies. The large company gets dull and boring where everybody is doing what the headmaster wants, you know. Yeah. But startups is a energetic community, community which everybody is doing what they want to do at that particular moment. Yeah. And therefore, the trick of managing people is not to manage them at all, okay. but to inspire them. But, but what, what happens a lot of times is if you, if you interact with a lot of young people and start working with them, so once they get, once they know what's happening inside your business, they would prefer not working for you and go for a start, of, start something of their own. I would turn that question around and saying, if my business is so easy to copy that people walk away and replicate it, what the hell am I doing in this business? Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so if the business is so much copyable, then it's not worth existence. So that should wake you up and saying, I need to have a platform or an idea or a technology or something which is so unique, which nobody can copy. So okay. that, that whole concept of people walking away and doing the stuff which you're doing is not a moral argument, is the fact that you do not have a strategic competitive advantage and a differentiator which is sustainable and which is core to your company, which you need to develop before you grow big. So Karthik, uh, first is, uh, it's a very spirited journey, uh, the fact that you started so early. Most of the entrepreneurs, including you, the way you sound is you spend 90% of the time doing and 10% of the time thinking why are you doing what you're doing. If you flip the coin in the early stages of your career right now, as you move out of college and into the real life and spend 90% of the time thinking about what problem are you trying to solve, how are you trying to solve it uniquely and why are you solving it. And if you spend that 90% of the time thinking about it, you will come up with granular details of how you're going to uniquely address that proposition. And when I find that unique way, then I'm going to drop everything else in life and just give it all, all I have. Anurag and Karthik, a sense of purpose and finding your uniqueness should definitely be right on top of your list. It is now time for us to take a break, but coming up next, 
Vineet shares his early learnings as an entrepreneur and his journey from tech to philanthropy. Stay tuned to find out more on The Young Turks Mentor.